Welcome to our next Wondering Walks of Wonder Tour. Today we're headed to the small town of Seneca, Kansas. Seneca was founded in 1857 by a group of settlers from Ohio who named the town after Seneca County, Ohio. The first post office in Seneca was established in November 1858. Seneca grew up along the wagon route from St. Joseph, Missouri to Oregon and California. British explorer Richard Francis Burton, en route to California in 1860, passed through the town and noted, well, at this time Seneca was a city that only consisting of a few shanties. As you can see, much has changed since 1860. Seneca was a station on the Pony Express of the early 1860s. The station was located in the Smith Hotel, which we'll see a representation of here when we get into downtown area. Seneca was incorporated as a city in 1870. In the early 20th century, Seneca was a thriving agriculture and industrial town. The town had a number of businesses including a flour mill, a cannery, a creamery, and a brickyard. Seneca was also a major railroad junction. The Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad and the Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railroad both had lines going through Seneca. We're now walking past the Nemaha County Historical Museum. This building once operated as the jail for town. The citizens of Nemaha County were generally hardworking and law-abiding, but occasional drunkenness, fistfights, and family spats were the typical fare for the sheriff to have to deal with. The sheriff lived in the house and was the jail keeper. His wife cooked and did laundry for prisoners. Two rooms above the jailer's residence were used for female prisoners and those who committed minor offenses. The jail operated with a small maintenance budget. By 1905, general deterioration had weakened the floor and roof, resulting in several escapes. The brick wall in one area was so weakened, one prisoner simply pushed out a section and left. It was renovated in 1907 and continued until 1976, becoming Kansas's oldest surviving uh, jailhouse. The building we see in front of us was once the Seneca, Seneca Masonic Temple. It was renamed in 2011 to the Seneca Temple of Honor. Inside now are artifacts from all branches of the military, including uniforms, photographs, medals, hats, helmets, and flags, as well as you can see some tanks and other military equipment outside. The Seneca Masonic Temple was constructed in 1917 and dedicated on January the 1st, 1918. There are massive stained glass windows inside the building.
We're now coming up to the historic U.S. Post Office building here in Seneca. Federal financial aid contributed to the construction of this post office in 1938. Between 1934 and 1943, the U.S. Treasury Department Section of Fine Arts commissioned over 1,600 pieces of public art for newly constructed post office buildings across the United States. In the New Deal Arts Program, artists were directed to create work in what was called, quote, the American style, scene style, with emphasis on local history, culture, and economy of the communities in which art was placed. This is one of 24 post offices listed as part of Kansas's post office artwork thematic resources. Inside you would find a mural called Men and Wheat. Here on our right is the current Seneca Free Library. This building is one of the earliest surviving buildings in Seneca on Main Street, but it originally started as a church. Built in 1869 of Kansas soft gray stone with stained glass windows and a bell tower, it has mixed features on both the Gothic Revival and Italian and architectural styles. Although religious congregations met in the 1850s, Seneca had no church buildings before construction of this Universalist church. The building was used by the Methodists, Baptists, and Congregationalists in common until other churches were built. The city of Seneca purchased the building in 1928 and the library moved from rooms in City Hall into this building. A new wing was added in 1997. We're now headed into the historic downtown area of Seneca. Most of these buildings were constructed in the late 1800s and early 1900s. This entire couple blocks that we'll be walking down is on the National Register of Historic Places. <laughs> 